Good evening, Sensei. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, people. Last week's diagram. Uh, carry over from last week. What the hell did we do last week? Let's take a moment. <laughs> Remind me of last week, would you? <laughs> Somebody? You think I'm kidding around. I'm serious. Remind me what we did last week here. <laughs> Fire in the belly. Hmm. Okay. What we're saying each, let's call it dimensional level of opening and finer dimensional level that using fire in the belly that they that the character has more energy and more energy from their core or hada or whatever, whatever. Okay. And that the self basically has the same thing as is more self. It's alive and can radiate. We're, is, was that our dialogue last week? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Any carryover comments, questions on that before I turn the page, folks, turn the page for tonight? Anybody, anything? Uh. Uh, Phil Booth, I just saw your name. Uh, the CAA is 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 dying to have some dues from certain dojos. Phil, you're one of those. Pay your dues. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything from last week? I have a question, Sensei. So in drawing yeah. this diagram, you put your little stick figure inside the character circle but you left self yeah well characters will continue with a kind of a uh a, a figure when we get finer and finer uh when i feel we're squared away enough to make an approach on the next big step the domain then we'll go into archetypes and they have bodies so to speak okay okay so that's kind of a body, body, body sense with the character all along the way. But they get finer, it's not physical body, of course. Physical body and then an energy body and then a whatever body and on and on. Okay, so the, the body sense seems to stay. The the uh, uh, self is a little more, uh, what does those sense they call it in the more advanced levels? Not opaque transparency of self that's his phrasing uh it's more transparent okay so i couldn't design it it's transparent it's present it's experiencing what's going on but it's more transparently present okay if i if i stick in this glass a piece of, uh, in, in this glass of this colored drink and stick a piece of glass into it. In a certain way, the glass is like the self. It's there. It's aware of the colors and all that stuff. Uh, but it's transparent in its presence experience. Did that come out right, Lauren? Yes, sir. And in this case, the glass would be the situation. Oh, uh, he's cutting it down there a bit in a second. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know what to do with that right now. Okay. Uh, just, just pass it on. Forget it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. My mind is sort of set on situation as more kind of the human here and now here comes a situation because of the energies of that situation the center characters affected by that and hopefully the center characters equal to the energies of the situation and is in harmony therefore with the situation okay so mm -hmm. yep, yeah exactly that's thank you okay Let's turn, if, if there's nothing, nothing more from last week, anyone? Ta-da! Okay. Okay. 
easy the eye. Okay. So we have this, let's say, universal character, let's say, and a universal self, let's say, okay? But because of the uh, vortex of creation, it got tighter and tighter and tighter, okay? It's kind of like everything got squeezed in, okay? And I'm a Bobby, or I get squeezed in more, I'm weird Bobby, okay? And I, 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 all right? So there we are. We're in this tighter, and the eye is very strong because of the squeezing in thing. Okay. Are we okay so far? Squeezing in tighter, dimensionally heavier, dimensionally eye. As we easy the eye, easy the eye, easy the eye. Take advantage of the more room that's there. We call space, I believe, er, er, uh, earlier in the year. Uh, in more space, easy the eye, and there's more space. So that the eye will come, pass through this more and more and more opening, uh, and then eventually have a big enough, clear enough, easy the eye, to where it's like open enough, I, I like the word stage. The stage is clear enough where the main pieces can have a turn if they so want to take a turn. The finer of character may want to show that it's there and express itself, dialogue itself. Or we're just staying with the two uh, tonight. Uh, or in that same space, the self may want to say, I'm self, I'm the forever one or something. Uh, okay, so in easing the eye, we're moving from this tighter squashed in, easy, 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 we're passing through this and getting to this much better easy the eye, kind of an open stage where you can choose or They'll take turns. So one of them will say, I want to stage and it'll be a better character. I want to function better. I want to be, uh, present myself better, whatever. Or it could be the self one wanting to express itself. It could be the other two pieces. Uh, I don't want to get into them tonight, but again, the, uh, uh, the workings, the, uh, well, space is more alive. So space again. And, uh, the construct, design, design of creation. You may want to say, hey, I'm the design of creation. This is how I work. And it's important that you have a little experience with me. Okay, so somebody will want to take center stage. Oh, are we sort of okay with that? So. The green, we're in an eye level. We're going to easy the eye, easy the eye, more room. A bit deeper always helps, more room deeper. Easy the eye, easy the eye. Till we get to a, a good enough space of easy the eye where we can refer to either the more advanced character or the finer level of self that can show. Don't know if I, I can say it at the moment any better. And then, did I miss anybody here? Is, is something? We'll stand in front of around for a few minutes, but before we do that, is is that those pictures sort of do anything for you? Sensei, could I interrupt, please, and yeah. ask, ask yeah, Brian please. to please oh. the focus on the camera. Focus, we're a little off focus. Sorry to interrupt. What does that mean? Was I blurring? What? I'm not sure. You're, you're, you're <laughs> there I blurred. <laughs> you 
Is that the best you can do, Brad? Yeah, so far. Is that any better? All right, we'll, we'll have to just proceed. Your, your explanation yeah. is clear, but your picture is a little blurry. That's the state I'm in. I'm in a blurry state. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. Uh, okay. Nothing. Nothing yet? Well, Sensei, I wonder, it's it's maybe old old lessons, but I'd like to hear it again. When you say easy the eye, the easy part of that verb, so that, what, what do you mean by easy? Let go of the, all the odds and ends. Let go of whatever you're hanging on to. It's this way. It's only this way. It's always been this way. Easy. Easy. When you're hanging on to it in that determined fashion. Easy. So there's a bit of letting go, maybe a bit of in the letting go of clearing happening. Easy. There's more room. Easy. But what should I do? No, no, no. Easy. Let's continue settling, opening, a sense of going deeper in this. Easy. Easy the eye. Okay. Sort of in the smaller form, the eye thinks it's the boss in many cases. It thinks it's everything. Okay. Uh, you try to explain some of this stuff to a normal, heavy human, and he's, I don't know if I can believe that. that that's the eye locking in. I don't know if I can believe that. Easy. What are the possibilities? Or what's your sense of what? They're trying to explain, easy, easy, easy. It's all that letting go and uh, not hanging on, more room, really a useful trick, knowing there's more room, the space trick, okay? Okay. So that that lets go of its locked in hold. And in using the more space, more space, we'll get to, we'll pass through this, we'll get to here where there's more space. And again, either the self may want to take central stage or the uh, much more advanced character will want to take central stage. Is that sort of okay? Is it okay to think of the easy the eye as the eye getting out of the way of character and self? Yeah, I'm just get, no, I'm, I'm just literally the words getting out of the way. Okay, I'll get out of the way. I don't see shit. Uh, so it's it, probably right, but I myself I just don't like get out of the way. Easy, settle, open. Don't get out of the way. Be here in this process, here and now opening finer dimensions, deeper, finer dimensions are inferred. Be present in it. Getting out of the way sounds like, I'll get out of the way. I don't see shit kind of thing. Is that is that okay? Yes. Now your sense of it may have been great, but I have to add the wordings. Okay, I'll get out of the way. It's not you. doesn't do it for me. And I don't think it does it for a lot of people. They'll misunderstand it. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I'm so bitchy, people, on certain words, but they potentially are meaningful, okay? We know all words will screw us up anyway, but we do the best we can. Let's not use that word, because a lot of people with that word interfere, okay? <laughs> uh, interfere, no. Infer, dot, dot, dot. Uh, let's try a different words, not to have that inference kind of thing. Okay. Uh, Okay, I have this is Amy. I have a, a dumb question. Um, yes, Amy, Florida, Amy, Go. Florida, Florida, Amy. Yeah, you know, okay, so you're saying that you know, more space, finer character. Um, I don't want to start my video, thank you. Um, I don't want to start my video, thank you. <laughs> okay, no problem. Um, <laughs> um okay. But then there are these people who take tons of space, but they're in a smaller character. 
You know, they own the room, they're pushy, they're in their ego, blah, blah. Uh, 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 okay, first, Amy, when we say space, we're not talking about a bigger living room. And then uh, uh, I'm, I'm out into my street uh, and I'm approaching downtown where I live, San Mateo. <laughs> uh, it's an inner sense of space, an inner sense of space, which may show in your radiation, in your presence, but it's not a, necessarily a pushy space. All you people get out of here because I need more space. It's, it's, a, it's not that type of space. It's an interior sensing space that's there. Does that help? Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, I think of just some of the politicians. Who, um... <laughs> Don't go there. Don't go there. I ain't going there. Don't go there. Okay. Yeah, anyway, it's not the outer pushy. Get out of my way, I'm here. You know, Bob... Um, Certainly about well, being here. They may move out of your way just because, whatever, but it's not because you're pushing them. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, Steve. Yes. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> you know, what it reminded me of is, you know, I, I we spoke during the week about well, when I try to explain some of this to Marilyn, and... You know, it's 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 very difficult for her to absorb it, and it's because her eye is getting the eye that wants to understand the the intellectual part, the making sense of things. Yeah. And, and I find that it's it's easier when you, well, easy the eye, you loosen it and don't try and and grab on tightly to what what you're saying specifically, but in general when we talk about this stuff. When we easy listen yeah. Yeah. and absorb it with not just our yeah. ear, but with our more relaxed, like you listen Open to music, you, you <laughs> know what I mean? Space. You let it wash over you, so to speak. Okay, all right. Uh, so yeah, if they have a tight eye and you try to get them to be aware of something or uh, glom on to something that you think is interesting for them. Uh, but in that tight space, they sometimes can't. I yeah. can't take anymore, honey. Shut up. Kind of thing. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I don't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what she's saying back to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So easy the eye. Easy the eye. Then Everything starts to happen. A little more awareness, a little broader, a little more ability to absorb a bit better. Easy, easy, all along the way, easy. Yeah. Are, are we sort of okay? Yeah. Are we sort of okay? <laughs> yeah, the system will get it even if I don't get all the details. Yeah. You know, the, I, will, I will receive it from another place that, that will understand better. Hopefully. Yeah. 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 How many times, I can't count the amount of time. Oh, you said something 20 years ago, which today made sense to me. Okay. I was just looking over some of my old sensei notes 10 years ago, laying something out for me. And it's like, oh, wow. I could just see it so much clearer. It's like, where the hell was I 10 years ago? I, didn't, I had some clarity with it, but not the degree I have today. And that's been 10 years. And I've been hacking at this stuff every day for 10 years. Clicked. Today it was like, oh, wow. He really laid it out pretty good. Wow. Uh, so the level I was at, couldn't absorb everything he was saying. I'm at a better level. Oh, oh, he's saying a lot. Yeah. So my absorption, understanding, experiential capability is better now. Is that similar to what we're talking about? Yeah. I have a question, Sensei, if that's okay. okay. It's Dusty. Yeah. I like everything you're saying and wondering about the the small eye, 
Uh, like a lowercase i instead of a capital i like why you stop i had a big hassle with katja over how to draw an i she wanted to do a uh, what i call a number one she called an i and i said i don't know it looks like number one to me and she said no 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 anyway so she chose that one <laughs> because we were hassling over how to how to write i <laughs> So I don't you continue. Well, I was wondering, like it, to me, I thought you was there because like you can because sometimes you can get into that space, I guess, where you feel the self or the character, and then all of a sudden, like the eye's presence and the ease of the eye is like I'm like this capital I, right? It's big and you gotta feel strong or whatever it is. Like easy I slow, slow down and be like the lowercase I. <laughs> okay. No. If that tickles you, fine. I'm not going to lay that out. Uppercase I, lowercase I, I. I ain't going there, but if that makes you happy, just have fun with it. That's good. I like the circles. <laughs> Easy the eye. Hush. Hush. Uh, the eye can tend to be very uh, pinball machine-ish. Easy. Hush. Quiet down. That's just a little prelude tricks to having the eye utilize the more room and open up stop being this and start being this so that a better character or a better self or any of the other pieces but let's stick with just character and self tonight i want to try to clarify it again a little bit with this uh because it was brought up last week by uh What's it? Is he on tonight? Uh, last week, um, character and self. Ian? No. Anybody remember? Something like Ian. Last week? No, no one remembers. It was one of your dedicated students, Sensei. Anyway, uh, so this question comes up a lot. They can't tell the difference between character and self. Well, one thing I'm trying to do here by getting more room and taking them individually so they don't smudge too early and you get a little confused, giving more room where there's an open stage and sometimes character will want to take that stage and say, I'm not Bobby, I am Nado, or I'm not Nado, I am Sensei Plus, whatever, <laughs> okay? Or the self may want to take that open stage space and present itself and explain itself more about itself at that level. Okay, we can't get this to happen when there's a tight eye. It's hard to distinguish eye and self because it's it's too scrunched in. So that's why people have trouble. So this is a question we hear all the time. Okay, from people, I can't tell the difference. Well, no, for squashed and kind of tight, it's damn hard. As we easy the eye, open, take advantage of the space, it gets clearer. And one of those will want to take a turn and present itself. Okay. You brought that up. Um, <laughs> uh, Steve? It was, it was Steve? Liam Robertson. Yeah, Liam. Is Liam on tonight? He is. Okay. Liam will try to get to this. Uh, clarifying the character as opposed to the self in a few minutes. Uh, but Steve, you brought that up a week or two ago uh, where you were sitting and open, whatever, whatever, and you wanted to work on character or something. And suddenly self was there saying, no, I want to talk today and express myself. Is that not what you said? Could you say it better for me? Don't just nod, say something. <laughs> Yeah, muted, Steve. Muted. Uh, my 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 keyboard was not responding properly. Anyway, yes, that that was exactly what I was saying. <clears throat> is uh, you know I had that agenda that I wanted to to work. Uh, I don't know, may have been space uh, or 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 character and self was what was showing. Yeah. And and it's uh, yeah, it, it's really allowing the system to to inform you instead of you 
you know, trying to control it. Yeah, you can start with an idea, but if you're not open, that that can screw you up. Uh, I had a couple of sessions where I was, really nothing was going on. And I, was, ah. and I realized what was trying to show wasn't what I wanted to do in that city. And I realized that. And then I started being more open with, with it. More like, I'll just make room, I'll settle down, I'll clear the deck, so to speak. Hello, anyone want to show here? Which aspect would like a turn? Any one of you are invited, kind of thing. And it, then after a while, it gets clear which one is taking central stage. As you hang out with them, uh, uh, they you recognize them really quick after a bit. It's like, oh, oh, Ed, that's character. Oh, okay, boom. And you allow character to express itself at that level to uh, facilitate your character being. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah. Um, let's do a standing practice for a minute or two. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that, is that clear enough? We can see you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so just a simple, simple. Okay. So let's say I, okay, easy the I. Right away, it's it's panicking a little bit, but where are we going? What are we going to do? Easy, easy. But I want to know where we're going. I want to know what we're going to do. Easy, easy the I. Easy, and it infers a settling, easy. It infers an opening. That there's a little more room here. Easy the eye. Begin to infer a type of letting go. Easy. Kind of like whatever I was hanging on to, I'm starting to let go of a bit. Easy the eye. Easy. Am I there yet? Easy. There he is again. Easy the eye. That lane. Take advantage of the more room. More room. I don't mean more room. I mean, to the city of San Mateo. It's an internal dimensional, inner sensing of more room. Remember thinking, feeling, finer feeling, eventually sensing, inner sensing more room. Easy the eye. In more room, easy. I would not go for anything particular. Now, don't fill the room up with something. It's too soon. Easy the eye. Kind of like spaciousness. And I would like just to have it be clear. Be clear. I call that a stage. Easy. Or clear the deck. The decks are clear. Easy. Easy the eye. Still feel a little over in checking this out. What's going to happen on the stage? Easy the eye. Invert settling. Opening into the more room deeper. Deeper opening into the more room. Easy the eye. Easy. Easy the eye. Now I'm checking to see how much I'm thinking about more room and how much. There is a sense experience of more room. Easy. There is more room. Easy the eye in more room. Easy in more room. Easy the eye. And again, you'll have to find your say, style. Keep it simple. There'll either be more of a character that wants to show or more of a self that wants to show. Easy. Easy. 
So if the E to the I says, well, who am I now? Again, the character may kick in with its character things, or the self may kick in with its sense of itself. Okay, short, 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 but something. So easy the eye, take advantage of the more room, more space that's there. Of course, it's internal, finer dimensions. So back to Florida, Amy's question, when I have more internal room, that may sort of manifest here. Where I, where I, I walk into a party and I stand bigly, not pushing, I'm not doing this overtly, but because I have this inner presence of more room. Okay. So the little people could look kind of big. And you're surprised when you get to know them how small they are. Because there's a sense of bigness. Not, I'm big and I'm going to put you over. It's not extrinsic. It's internal. And it may manifest outward. Okay. But that helps Amy, Andy. Uh, where the hell are we, people? Did you get anything out of that short practice of easy the eye? Some sense of more room. We left it open. And as you practice and play, then be prepared, either because you call it up or because you're saying whoever wants a turn, that one of the major four will take the center stage. We want to stay with the first two here, character and self. Character and self, again, are uh, people have trouble with them because Everything overlays. All the big pieces overlay. Okay. Uh, but character and self are really buddies, could I say? Self and character, character and self. Uh, don't know if they're any closer than all the others a certain way, but they tend to buddy up really well. And that's why people have trouble in a tighter space of distinguishing them because they're sort of overlaying and they're sort of uh, both there. As you make more room and they have the full stage, then they can take turns. After you get the sense of how they take turns, then we can move into a more advanced level where we uh, naturally let them or we sense them as overlaying. That's what I tried to do when we were talking some months back about that energy, uh, using healing energy that if the body is a little defunct of energy, uh, I say, okay, but let's check the self. And when the self is present, and I wanted to align the self to the body so we have a real here. Okay, it's not a body is here and the self is spiritual. It's up there floating around in that cloud. I want to do it here and now, everything here and now. Here and now, okay? Finer dimensions, here and now, okay? that the glow, the energy, that the self has being present, overlaying, underlaying with the character, the glow of its energies can help facilitate the energies of the character. Okay, character has its own energies, but when you're sort of down, you may not notice them as much. But when the self with its glow is present, it can spark the energies of the character. So you get the glow of the self and the glow of the character start to be more and more and more. Okay. Oh, Sensei, for example, had a hell of a presence glow. <laughs> you knew he was in town. Okay. The whole place would hum when he was in town. When he left town, the hum in the dojo would slowly decrease. <laughs> Just his presence being, it would hum. He didn't have to, I'm here. 
And I'll, I'll make noise so you know I'm here. I'm humming. He didn't have to do that. He was just there. There it was. Okay. So inner, inner, that may manifest outward. Okay. Anyway, try to distinguish self and character. Uh, character is, I don't know, he, she who functions. Okay, let's use that. Let's try that. He, she who functions. Uh, I can run faster. Uh, I can carry more weight or whatever, whatever. Okay. A character. No, no, has a different flavor about itself. Okay. And as you make enough room and practice this game of letting them take center stage, they will express themselves. And if you're also experiencing, you're experiencing them and, and their job, their major, there we go, their major, their major will get much clearer to you because you're having that experience that they're having with themselves. Okay. So as you play, character will be very distinct in self, self very distinct from character. Uh, okay. The aliveness of space, very distinct from the other two. And the, the uh, uh, design of creation, the center circle or the vortex, that activity, that's definitely its own activity. Okay. Now they're all in relationship. Uh, so they'll probably all want turns eventually. Uh, that's why we brought it up to introduce you that there are four main pieces. And we sort of should have a sense, some experience with them before we really take a much more giant step and move on. And that's what we call the manifest universe to the domain. Okay, it's sort of a kind of a giant step. Boom. Okay. Ah, did I confuse you in here? <laughs> Easy the eye. Since you get more space so that the character or the self has more room to show, express itself, to be more present. Period. Boom. Yes, uh, Lauren. Yes. Uh, in other lectures you have said things like the character reacts to the situation that's presented okay you're going back to there again so i'm not sure if i want to dialogue there but go ahead it's okay right. i just want to say oh where are we going and, this, and therefore this the, the character changes according to what it needs to be and it can be refined in a step-by-step -step manner travel yeah. vehicles and things like that but that the self is a more immutable unchanging distinct thing have i, have I expressed that okay yeah yes but let's yeah let's let's not make your first sense of the self as if it's totally fantastic god given everything uh there are i don't know how to say Degree. Some selves are like feel like they're newbies here, and they don't have a hell of a lot of past history experience. Uh, so I don't know quite how that works, but they feel like newbies, or they're selves that really haven't um, exercised themselves as self to realize the more of themselves. Uh, so. We got to be careful because we say self. I don't want to think. Oh, and he's totally perfect. Uh, I, I like to work the continuing sort of degrees of self. I don't know if I said that well. Go ahead, help me here. I just want you to keep going. <laughs> you got to spark me a bit. I can't well, go all over the place. You also said that. This I think someone asked last week or the week before, well, Sensei, what is self? And you said self, self itself is aware of itself, and don't ask me to explain it. That we each have to. Yeah, we just talk. 
It's self can experience itself. That's all you have to know. Now you go, they go and practice. Let's talk about that some more. I'm going to fill my head with more. It's like, yeah, what are you going to do with it? There's no experience going on. Aware of itself, it experiences itself as self. It's its own unit. People call it the soul, the original one or something. Well, maybe not. Anyway, it has probably different names, different cultures. Self. Dumb games I used to play. Let me go. I might have mentioned some before, but let's go over them again. I probably at the stage where I began to realize there was a difference between character development and self. And I wanted to get a better shot on self. So what I used to do was, uh, in a certain way, kill the character. One of my games was, uh, if acid were being poured over this character body, and because of fullness of acid, the body has totally disappeared. Okay. What's here or who's here? Is there something here? And that facilitated a letting go of the character and self's ability to show itself. That was one of my dumb games. Okay? So we say, well, what's the difference between the character and the self? Pour acid on yourself. <laughs> okay? I would play very experientially sort of i really get involved mentally uh, imaginary but involved i cut my wrist in my apartment in tokyo and i would bleed to death and i was as i was bleeding to death thinking well, but I, I got laundry to pick up tomorrow and what about huh and what about that day hey you're dying and i'd continue to die okay so there were no concerns of bobby in his world Okay. What was left? Self would show. So I got pretty clear on who, on a character as opposed to a self, a whole different flavor, a whole different sense of, of those. And there's probably other games like that that are kind of dumb but fun. I don't know if that helped any. <laughs> You're on, Lauren. Well, I think what you're saying is that even if the character dies, self remains. Mm -hmm. And character will shift to another dimension of character. You'll be a, an astral being character or whatever. But the self will still say, I'm, I'm kind of, Bob, what, what mine said to me once was, uh, when it was first appearing, and it was a sense of, well, who are you kind of thing, uh, or it was just, just dialoguing itself. Uh, it inferred Bobby's come and go, but I'm always here. Hmm. I'm more constant. Hmm. Uh, Bobby's may come and go, but Bobby's, after they pass over, will realize they're in a better uh, dimension and they'll become an astral body, could we say? Okay. Okay. Uh, but still, that sense of the self as being self is always self. And there is a more original of self, uh, a fuller of self. Okay, so I like to also progress with self. I don't want to think self. Once I, once I got a, a vague sense or a vague experience with self, say, that's it, and he's totally everything. And not quite yet. Uh, self, the more original of self. Something like that to to help carry me back to the original self. Okay. Just to, just to, just to, uh. You following any of this, Lauren? <laughs> yes, I am. I am. Oh, and, good. Well, I, I wanted to, it reminded me, your sense, your discussion of space reminded me of uh, standing in a, absolutely packed subway car in Japan. And 
everybody was extremely was completely calm and look you know thinking or looking at a book or whatever they were doing they didn't feel like their private space was violated even though we were just pressed one against another mm -hmm. their inner sense of their own space was so strong mm -hmm. you know and you know you've described how we have to look for more inner space and i think that was actually a kind of you know to me it was a good example yeah so the example i bring up steve uh, you remember this early days of me going down south uh we were using the same living room. Uh, some lady whose name sits on mine now, where she had a good size house and we were using her living room. So it's a good sized living room. At the same time, we had a pretty good, pretty good sized group there. And we met, what is it, once a month for some years. And, and after about a year or so of the same amount of people being in this room, somebody finally said, hey, it's a little crowded. Same amount of people in the same room, but he hadn't noticed it before because probably what we were doing was a lot of internal uh, presence kind of thing. So even though it may have been crowded, there was so much internal experience going on. He didn't notice it was crowded. Sounded like you're Japanese in the subway kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I found that humorous at the time. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I think of character as the one that sort of functions and self is, I don't know what, the sense of things, the philosophy of things. Uh, and they have different flavors. Again, I like the word flavor. The flavor of each of the main components is a bit different. Okay. Uh, so as you make a little room and, and, Character or self take central stage, and then you try the other one on its turn after a bit, maybe the next day, maybe the same day, maybe the next day, maybe the next week. It, it, how it shows to you is how it shows to you. Uh, as you play and experience what they're experiencing, could I say, uh, then the distinction gets very clear to you. Okay, if Katya walks into the room, I don't say, oh, are you Brad? Katya's Katya and Brad's Brad. They're very clear to me. Okay. So, so these become clear to you, too, if you hang out, give them room so they can really show and experience what they're experiencing. Be present while they're expressing themselves. Be, it's an internal experience. Can't say it too much better. So easy the eye to get to more room. And in the more room, either this will want a center stage or that'll want a center stage. And it could be three or four. Uh, that's why I call those one, two. It could be a couple other components, but let's not worry about those right now. Uh, because it comes up so often in, in questions. But I can't tell the difference between a character and a self. Uh, okay, do that, do that, practice, sit with it, hang out, okay, blah, blah, blah. where are we, did I lose you, too bad, anybody? <laughs> Hi everybody, this is, this is Justin, I just uh, wanted to share my experiences with this exercise that we went through together. And some of the things that you, Sensei and Lauren, are talking about resonated quite strongly with me in that as we um, yeah, easy the eye and uh, allow for more room, the sense of identity I seems to be one of not having to work so hard. And there's a sense of uh, I don't know, peace, clear, calm that comes with it. Then I notice uh, character is the... The, the one who's standing fully, stand fully, stand more fully, is the character portion. And then the self would be a, uh, a constant, like you said, uh, the I am here now. Without the, the sense of function per se, there's the standing, functioning one in space. And then there's the, 
uh, constant, okay. the internal sense of the me, I guess. That's just- okay, could I, Let me jump in for a second. Please. Could I say, when the physical says, I'm here now, there's a certain flavor to it. When, they self, says, when self says, I'm here now, it doesn't have that flavor to it. It's a different tonality, a different sense, a different flavor to hear now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Without the sense of, uh, of having to work at it like a, a character standing is standing and there's a job there, a situation, if you will. The self doesn't seem to be involved like that on that level. Yeah, not at that level of I've got to move, I've got to react, I've got to this. Yeah, not at that level, yeah. It might be there in the supportive underlying background, can we say? Uh, if it's a life and death situation, it's not really time for you to go. It might help intercede and put more energy into the situation the character and some little semi-miraculous thing happens okay blah, 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 blah. but let's not stray too far into that stuff anyway yeah. sensei you did talk last week about how <clears throat> when you talked about alignment of character and self. Yeah. Again, the overlay factor. And those two are important to overlay. I, I really came clear uh, working with Susan on uh, healing, okay, uh, that too many selves were like hovering selves or standing off to the side selves. Help. I bumped into a couple of selves that were really way up there and off into a cave. Uh, uh, this faint line of connection, but they weren't really here. Okay. And we found a lot of selves weren't aware they should be in alignment with their character. Okay. We found some misunderstanding, some a uh, self said, well, if I align to the character, I'm going to be locked into that body. And it's like, no, no, you're a self. You can be present, but not feel locked in. So they misunderstood how it worked. So we have to instruct a bit at that level. Uh, instruct selves, how to be better selves in alignment with the body. And using that that time for more healing, the aliveness or alive glow of the self. Everything has energy, right? A live glow of the self could help facilitate because it glows aligned with the body. It glows to and through the body, helps the body has its own juiciness, uh, but helps to pick it up. So it's like a double beat, bing, bang. So you get more, okay? And I think we kind of covered that talking about uh, core power and follow tracking that back just with an energy sense. Uh, did I say anything properly? Uh, Florida Amy, you on still? She fall asleep? I'm here. Amy, there I'm you here. are. Years ago, you said, I don't remember when, but I, I happened to pick up some old notes and saw that notation. Uh, you're much clearer on character and self now than you were some years back, I hope. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay, keep it simple. How do you distinguish character presence as opposed to self presence? Okay. Now that you're more open and present and allowing, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Um... Um, one thing I would say is um, self is impersonal in some way. It's impersonal. It, and it's, I experience it as um, 
huge, just really huge and having its own, um, and it's very calm and it's, um, Um, it has almost like it's the rate, the radi it radiates. Um, the way I'm picking it up is it's not like, it's almost like a mandala or something. It has like a, it has like a, a structure in some way. Um, not to confuse it with the uh, structure. Uh, uh, what's the other word we use? For design? design of creation, right? But within yeah. itself, it within itself, has something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, character is more personal. Um, it speaks to me, I, I guess they both speak in qualities, but for me, character speaks more in qualities. Um, um, Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what to say. Um, anyway, yes, as you continue to play people, they're very distinct. Okay, very distinct. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to say something. Now, as we easy and easy and easy and, and open up more, uh, we're also moving into finer inner dimensional space and there's more juice, there's more aliveness, more energy, whatever word you want to use there. Uh, and so be alert that because there's more energy, it could push the eye that's there into a tighter eye uh, uh, again. So kind of... So hopefully you recognize a push, but um, see some people develop, okay? Say say they get a better character and a better self. And then sometimes don't think it potentially egotistical. Uh, they're spiritual egotists, for example, or whatever form they're being ego, that they suddenly get more ego. Where, where the hell did that come from? Uh, in their doing a good job of opening up, but in not knowing that there is really a self, clearly, uh, I, I, and I open, and I'm functioning very well, and I'm being noted by others, yes, yes, yes. And because there's more energy, they can really start to overdo that. I call it the I can do syndrome. Uh, anyway, just file that away that there is more energy that's so noted, so you don't get pushed back into a tighter when you've already opened to a certain degree. Uh, don't screw that up by getting tighter and whatever. I hope I said that clear enough. You can't go wrong. Uh, I'm double checking with easy the eye, <laughs> easy the eye. Uh, after a bit, huh? Whatever. Go ahead. Um, the, the one thing I wanted to add was um, that made the big difference, which I was telling you on the phone, is before I, I wasn't aligning my perceptions, my energy, um, my to self. It wasn't even in, in the picture, you know, before these Zoom calls, really. Um, now there's more of an alignment in a relationship. So there are like downloads of the self that come through. Um, it's, uh, that's where, that's where um, um, the passion of life is coming through in a different way. Um, it's not, I, I mean, it's not, it's just this, it's this, it's this integrity that is um, beyond anything that I experienced in the past. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, I just didn't catch the first part. What was you're talking about alignment or something? Yeah, it's an alignment. It's it's what's it's an alignment? A, what are we aligning? 
well, I, I it's before, there. before before Amy wasn't even considering or having a relationship with the self. It might have been okay. there, but I wasn't yeah. having a relationship with right. it. It was now there. Too. My, now my now my energy, my perceptions, my, meaning my experience, mm -hmm. is, uh, uh, my intent is aligned to the self. So okay. that brings me that creates a stronger relationship. It brings downloads in from the self. Um, yeah. It shifts no, my, it shifts my, yeah. It shifts. Can we my, take the more? The more it's like any training. The more often you open to it, the faster it gets and the fuller it gets. You you've made it. Well, for lack of words, a good connection. I sort of don't like that because it means this to that, uh, but in a certain way, a good connection. As I as I tight eye, easy let go, whatever, and and acknowledge to say self, and and self starts to be there showing glowing at whatever level uh then the next time should be a bit easier potentially and the next month should be uh, much easier you, you made a good i don't know you've opened up that path i don't know the word right right here but but yeah should should be so it's like in some way like any kind of training you know if you run the uh around the block the next time you run around the block, it should be a little bit easier. And the, and the tenth time you run around the block should even be easier, potentially, you know? It's just basic, kind of kind of basic. <laughs> basic. Uh, anyway, thank you, Amy. Okay, people, where the hell are we? Say something. Tell me you're confused. Tell me you're catching something. Say something. Uh, Sensei, Bob here. Hey, Bob there. What you've outlined is a really terrific process and one that is doable, and that is easy with the eye, allow some more space, and then whether it's character self or in other cases, one of the other big four is going to show up and has a chance to develop. And you can repeat the process as many times as you want. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like, a, uh, uh, I mean, it's profound. It's profound partly because it's so doable. And in a certain way, I think you're bringing up the potential simplicity. Yes. Here I am, and it doesn't seem so simple. Easy. <sighs> Easy the eye. More room. More space. Da, 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 da. And something is there, being present with you. So in a certain way, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what you said, yeah. <laughs> uh, you can, in a certain way, get there. Yeah. Uh, exactly so. Here, and as you get there and more open, it clarifies some more, it adds to itself, so to speak. It wants to show you the more of things, uh, which is basic. And as, as you just said, it's based on a very simple principle of training, which is the more you do it, the better you get and the easier it is. Yeah. Well, you learned a couple of tricks, like, because you say, I want character. I want to major in character. Could be one day it's somebody else says, no, I want to turn. And there's something else there. So little tricks like that you you you, you catch on to. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, thank you, Bob. And you could probably run this pattern some other way. Some of you getting more advanced, you, you're getting a better sense of the self. Uh, for example, a practice might be okay. Uh, the basics. 
find her, find her, find her, da, da, da. and self, and a sense of self and its glow, let's say, its aliveness, and and then you can just line that up to body character. So self lining up the body character, kind of with a sense of how does self present with the character? How does that help what goes on? And I'll begin to show you certain things like the energy one that I was mentioning, the glow of the self will mention how it improves the glow of the character, okay, kind of thing. And other stuff. I mean, it's endless possibilities of how a self better aligned with and present with its character can facilitate the character. I probably haven't hardly touched 4% or whatever of the possibilities there. So that's your job. If you're interested, you set up that game. Okay, do the basics, get to a bigger space, finer space, self. Hang out with self and then align self with character and see and ask. Nado says that your presence with character helps. Could you show me how it helps? <laughs> Inquire, experiment, play. Okay. You can't just uh, get more information if you don't play. It's very important you get to play. Okay, I'll sensei use these words with me. Which will bring up when we uh, more clearly major in domain, okay? So coming up soon. Uh, it's a good library, a lot of good information. And you need a certain amount of information. So a lot of what I do is throw out information, okay? Then it is also a laboratory where you sort of play with things. How does the self line up to the character? How does that improve? Uh, uh, how does the uh, uh, workings of creation, the design of creation, how does that fit in? And does that fit in with the character? Uh, it's a laboratory. You're funning around trying different stuff. The third one, the gymnasium, is very important. Well, since they would say also, those first two could be a tendency to go more mental aware. But when you have a gymnasium, as part of this, uh, then it's the actual more presence experience of these things. Okay, so the idea, the laboratory, fun around a bit. And the actual more experience present, boom, something. Something like, like that will come around again on that when and if we get into the a more clear shot on domain. But not tonight. <laughs> okay. Help me here. I'm pooping out. What you got? Where are we? What's not clear? What is clearer to you? And say it's Justin again. I, 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 I love how you're reminding us always to stay with the 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 actual experiential component of what's happening here. And I know without going into the realm, hopefully of smudging, the things that we've practiced in the last several lessons that you've guided us through have highlighted the fact that these big four uh, complement and support each other. Yeah. And yeah. so as we it, did today- They all make up uh, eventually an original unit of creation. They're all part and parcel. So there's a, a relationship. Uh, and I think you said uh, uh, they're also trying to help each other. To support and help. Balance with each other. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And why I brought up and introduced there was four is um, to have a sense of four, some, some experience with the four. 
then will facilitate us moving into a, this bigger leap into what we call the domain, uh, have a sense of the four, and then the laboratory, how the four work together and the clarity more of the four and stuff like that, that we'll need if we want to proceed past that level. In what else sense it would call the divine country. But certainly don't be asking me about divine country because I know what you're going to do. You're going to, oh yeah, I can think divine. I'm aware of some perfect, glorious, whatever. And, and, and you ain't going to get there on that. I'm sorry. I wish it was that easy. Let me think about it. I'm there. It, it's fast, but it's not that fast. <laughs> it's easy, but it's not that easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, this experience, because half of the creation is a major of experience and aware, aware and experience. If you could just do it on awareness, cool, but you really can't. You can go finer and your awareness will increase, but you're going to get spun eventually. Sorry. Sorry. You need them both. Aware and experience. Experiencing, I am aware. Need the both. Okay. And the reason I keep pushing on that is because historically, since day one, I guess, there's uh, by the souls, the beings, whatever you want to call them, uh, started to major in aware of and were light on experience. Okay. And so that tendency has continued, uh, unfortunately. Uh, see, Osensei, for example, said, you know, I could have taught just this awareness spirituality and been more famous, had a bigger following. But he said, there's a lot of guys doing that, you know, talking about spiritual finer dimensions. Uh, he realized they weren't experiencing enough so this body development and this art of Aikido was trying to force people, <laughs> assist people in more experience. So they'd realize, oh, it's that and this and this and that. And he, so uh, he didn't take an easy road. The easier road would have been to expound on the beauties of God and the heavenly whatever's. Uh, that would have been an easier form because it's sort of easier to go finer, aware that away. Yeah. No. Other people have noted it, other arts, whatever, have noted it. Uh, Noah, wasn't there something in Yogananda's lineage where one of their uh, Superior teachers and upper class teachers said something to the meditating students in, in India. I think it's better you guys play football. No, you're not aware of that. Crazy. Doesn't ring any bells. Doesn't, doesn't come to mind at the moment, yeah. Sensei. Sorry. Anyway, I, I thought that was kind of cute. You meditate, but you're not experiencing alive. Better you play a little football. <laughs> I think it was alluding to. Okay. okay. Uh, or teachers should be jumping in now saying, oh, yeah, I see plenty of those meditators do that. Teacher, where are you when I need you? <laughs> Isn't it a shame when somebody in their awareness starts to uh, develop their awareness factor and, and somehow too many of them are uh, don't function? Well, what happens is it's a, it's a, it's a stopping point. It, it, people will get into uh, meditation, reach a certain place and uh, get too comfortable with it and stop right there. I think we've all talked about that. You know, I've talked about that. Noah and I've talked about that for sure. And along with Lauren and Lane and, and yeah. Moon, we've all, we've all kind of, run run the course on that um yeah of course you you get into it um and at a certain place it, it, 
you just you know you stop unless you're unless you have more of that inner fire that you've been talking about the last couple of sessions drawing you drawing you calling you and really that deeper listening i think steve was was uh was mentioning that, that sense of deeper listening and yeah. it's uh, so it's so very important yeah. that we have that kind of quality and i the i think the beauty of the training that you're offering now and also in its relationship to aikido gives us that embodiment that you were talking about with the with yogananda's uh um teacher mentioning to the meditators yeah you know you <laughs> You guys, you guys are, he, he didn't say it like this, but he could have said, yeah, you guys are in your heads. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. That, Justin was talking about that too. Yeah. 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 And the important thing then in that is to, is to kind of mind that calling and, uh, and listen deeper. And what Justin was was talking about, going m more for the experiential, and it doesn't always show up as cognitive knowledge. Who else was talking about that? Someone else was mentioning that earlier. Um, Steve, maybe. But it's um, um, it doesn't mean that it's going to always be devoid of those kinds of elements of of quote unquote understanding. But sometimes you just have to trust the universe. And let go. You might even say, "Easy the eye." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. <laughs> I should be with you tonight, and to and to, and to listen to this because the the subject is is as uh, as Noah was saying. It's um, it has a, an amazing potential for simplicity. <laughs> But it's kind of tough too, because we're the <laughs> eye itself, that tight eye can't quite always grasp mm -hmm. the larger picture and appreciate the spaciousness, that internal spaciousness that you were referencing earlier. So, talking about Sensei. Um, and he said, I, something, either. I told you it was simple, but I didn't say it was easy. <laughs> but, <right>. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's really easy, but you have to catch on to it. And in trying to catch on to it, you have to go through all these trials and tribulations and misunderstandings and stuff. So once we start to get a little more clear with this, we like to sort of throw it out there. So that your trip is a bit easier. You know, I try to give you a lot of heads up, like I did with this, as you uh, settle and open and the character self, whatever ensemble starts to be there better. And you potentially start to get kind of, hey, this is me. Ego starts to, the I ego starts to be there. Uh, uh, and based on you went a bit more open so there's more energies and that might be what pushed you into back into not a, the original tight eye but an eye i'm good i can do with the sense that you can but i can do kind of thing uh so i try to give you a heads up on on stuff make it easier but you got to do it you got to play <laughs> Hey, I think we just ate up our time here. Uh, did we sort of cover anything properly? Sort of, I hope, I hope. A, a last question, Sensei. Uh, TJ just threw off, uh, uh, you know, trust the universe and let go. All right. And what if the eye doesn't want to trust the universe? That's too big. Is it enough? Oh, well, yeah, no, 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 no. You cannot go from this to the great original perfection of creation. It's too big. Right. It's too big. I, I kind of, well, I don't want to eat it more time, but it's kind of like, let's say the more original, let's say it's kind of like a sun. And you know what's going to happen if I approach it. In fact, did somebody try that? Who's that, Icarus? Yeah, Icarus? Hey, how about that? I remember <laughs> his name. 
<laughs> first, a first. I don't have to refer to Noah. It carries. <laughs> anyway, as you get closer, the sun is like burnout time. So if the more original is like the sun, you got to get used to how this works. <laughs> got to get used to letting more warmth sunlight beat through the get comfortable you can't just go from here to the being in the sun i've arrived i'm i'm the human god it ain't gonna work so if that's what you're talking about hell no and so is it would you think about trusting the system or trusting the path or trusting the teacher step at a time trust <laughs> yeah yeah See, I sort of trust it. Yeah, it's probably because enough people have mentioned it who have been there. Uh, oh, since they've been there now. Uh, it's really beautiful or great or harmonious or loving or whatever. Okay, I, I believe that. Now, what am I going to do now? What's for me now? And I trust that my own system is going to unfold based on Nado's style, based on my original intent in creation. Uh, I'm going to garble up words here. Enough for tonight. Thank you so much, Sensei. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, people. everyone. Thanks, Sensei. Hey, did you get anything out of this? Thank you for pushing us. I, I don't push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. How many people would agree that Nado Sensei never pushes? Never. <laughs> I mean, I never experience that. Sorry, Sensei. He, he throws. He doesn't push. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Have a good night, Sensei. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye -bye. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. 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 bye.